Hi Sudhi. Firstly, thank you so much for uh, taking part in my channel and uh, you know sharing your experiences about your placement experiences. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. So how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. So how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, Sudhi. Yeah. So let's start with the discussion, Sudhi. Mm, okay. So, so yeah. I am Sudhi Kumar, and uh, I've been pursuing BTEC EC with specialization in embedded systems and VIT. Okay. So, uh, start with the company. Which company you're placed in? Uh, right now, I'm placed in uh, Toba Fisher Scientific. Uh, it's an US-based company which uh, deals with uh, uh, you know biotechnology and uh, you know lab equipments. Okay. So, what is the package? Uh, I don't want to disclose the CDC, but yeah. uh, it's okay. quite a good package. Okay, so uh, are the are you bound with any bond or something, or is it? Uh, uh, no, there's no bond. There's no bond. Okay, great, great. So, uh, were you placing any any other companies with it, or this was? Uh, yes, actually, yeah. Uh, I had applied for the HCL and I didn't get an offer from them, so, but okay. they might turn it down because it's a service based on Yeah. Okay, great, great. So this was directly converted from internship, or was it directly placed? Uh, actually, I was uh, taken in for an internship, and I got converted after like seven months of uh, internship. Okay, they paid for you uh, during the seven months? Yeah, uh, during the internship they paid me. Okay, great, great. Yeah, that is great. So let's go on with the company-based questions. Yeah, okay. This will be helpful for various students. Yeah. So, how many were rounds were present in this evaluation? Uh, for the internship, actually, it was just one technical round. My resume was directly shortlisted with other people too. So, I got called for a technical uh, round. So, yeah, I attended the technical round around September last month, and they mostly covered you know the basics of uh, electronics, and they actually gave me two options. They they were like, we have two domains. Uh, namely software and hardware and I, I got to choose uh, what I wanted to join and I chose software. So the questions were based on uh, C, Embedded C and Python. Uh, since I am an uh, Embedded Systems uh, guy, so they asked me questions about the Embedded Systems. Embedded C, C and you know basic C concepts and you know some basic electronics concepts in Python. That's what I was asked. Okay. And after my internship, like uh, before my internship uh, was about to end, my uh, manager had a you know, formal HR kind of discussion. So I would say it's around two. Uh, that was uh, in the end of my internship. So in that, they asked me about my short term, long term goals and you know how I would fit into the company. But, uh, yeah, that, that was it. This is just a brief meeting. Uh, Okay, so how were you selected to the job roles? Did like um, on based on your performance during internship? Yeah, actually, uh, my manager had asked for uh, feedback with the people I worked with, and I believe I received good feedback. In, uh, so. Okay, great, great, yeah. Thank you. So, uh, what was the difficulty? Did like what was the difficulty in the interview that was asked? Was was it reasonable? Well, since I had prepared for uh, you know C evidence, I did find it quite uh, easy, but it wasn't very easy. I would say medium difficulty. Like for out of uh, ten, I would say the difficulty rating was around six, five to six. Okay. So were you able to answer uh, most of this? Yes, uh, I did answer. Okay, great, great. So, where did you prepare for your uh, specific interview, kind of this this exam actually, for this interview? What were the sources? Uh, I don't have any specific sources. I just, you know, googled. Uh, you know, well, first of all, I started with fundamental of electronics, like, you know, KCL, KVL and stuff. I just googled it and, you know, I found some YouTube videos back then. So, it was mostly YouTube. So. Okay. And for so, coding, uh, yeah, basics and for coding, I used HackerUp. Like I studied C and Python on Hacker. Okay, so for embedded C, you didn't prepare much. So whatever we learned in college, that was enough. I didn't prepare much, yeah. Whatever we learned in college is fine. I didn't study the basic concepts of Geeks for Geeks. Uh, was, okay, okay. You okay. know, Geeks for Geeks. So yeah, I studied yeah. some basic concepts and practiced some problems on Hacker. So. 
Okay, so yeah, great. So, uh, was there any specific reason to it for choosing this specific company? See, the this was one of the companies which came. You know, it was a core company, so I was just interested for core job. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So I mean, uh, so if a person is choosing this specific company or any other companies from whatever he has received, what would he suggest? What should he consider? What factors should he consider for selecting a company? Uh, like you mean uh, generally or? or this? Yeah, from uh, should he consider CTC or should he consider his growth perspective or how should you can? Uh, okay, so for selecting that? a company, uh, I would say uh, we should you know. Look for the domain here. Uh, if I am an EC student, I would prefer an EC. But it depends on every other person. Like whatever domain you are interested in, that is an important thing. You should be interested to work. So yeah, CTC doesn't matter much uh, as per the, the, like paying a decent pay that would be good. But the main thing is interest in what we like to. Do. So yeah, I agree. And uh, so, could you tell us what what work you were uh, dealing with during the internship, or uh, when you started to contact? Okay, uh, during the internship, I started with OpenCV Python. Uh, it was mostly image detection and stuff. And after that, it was mostly you know rotary encoders. And we, uh, I was assigned to a project, and I was uh, you know helping to pick parts. As like I did, uh, you know went through data sheets and you know uh, compared for the. You know better uh, part, and after that, uh, I started working on MQTT. That was a message giving uh, telemetry transport protocol. So, uh, you know, what I did was uh, implemented uh, different available MQTT workers, and you know, I did a performance analysis. So, that's what I was working on. Okay, so could you share us some of your experiences during your training? Was it intense, or how was it going on during the online time? Uh, online is a bit difficult to work, but you know, uh, my colleagues were uh, you know welcoming and they did help me uh, whenever I needed help. So it was a good experience. Uh, the thing is, it's, it was interesting to learn something. So uh, I would say it was a good experience for learning. Okay. Yeah. So let's go on with generalized questions, Sudeep. Like uh, for generalized mm -hmm. core companies. So uh, every every student has this question. So even I had many doubts regarding this. Uh, every core company would have some topics which are important for that specific company, right? So they are going yes. to question those specific topics for that exam. So what would you suggest? How could a student prepare for a generalized manner in these, you know, in these scenarios? Because every company would ask separate separate topics. So how would you suggest? What would you suggest from your yeah. perspective? Okay. So from what I've seen, like every company or. Uh, they actually, uh, it is open to apply. Like most of them, they would say it's open to apply. They would look through the resume. They would take a look at the resume. So what I have seen is like most of the companies prefer people with uh, uh, a number of projects. Like it depends on the hands-on knowledge you have. Uh, so they would, you know, prefer someone uh, who's you know who can apply what they've learned. So I would say a decent GPA and you know some good projects would. Uh, get you past the first stage and for uh, every you know uh, company you are supposed to you know learn uh, their specific things so you can't do anything it's like you need to you know check what role they are offering and you need to prepare for that specific role and you know you need to go through the specific topics there isn't something you know general so. but for EC students uh, I would suggest you know uh, going through the fundamentals of economics that is an important chapter and also control systems was, was asked in a lot of interviews. So I would say fundamental of electronics and the control systems were an important topic. So yeah. Okay. And uh, would you like to suggest any uh, preparation strategies, whatever you would have followed, and like writing, preparing, you know, some kind of. Yeah, uh, just like I said, you know, YouTube was more than enough for me. Uh, you know, YouTube and for CSC students, I would say uh, they should. Uh, practice a lot of problems on Hackerang. Hackerang was like really good to you know develop our coding skills. So that and you know again just as I said, we need to you know uh, do a lot of projects to prove that we can uh, we can implement what we have started. So that is important. And of course, we should maintain a decent GPA. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So even for embedded, we should be preparing hacker rank like for CSE based, EC based company. Is it right? Well, that depends on the role again. Uh, since I was preferring a software role, I you know I practice Python and C. C is like important for us, you know, right? For embedded okay. system people, C and embedded C is like important. So. By software, you mean EC side software, right? Like embedded C. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, and one final question is it like? From your experiences, like many students uh, might not get placed until the final stages of the placements, right? So, or they might get placed in the early stage itself. So, from your experiences, what would you suggest to the people who are uh, preparing themselves for attending the placements? So, what would you, what would be your words from your experience? It's just that don't lose hope. Like, uh, I, I'm still seeing people being placed right now. It, it's been a year yeah. since the placement started. So yeah. there are companies coming out. There are jobs opening up. It's just that uh, it's taking time for them to you know get placed. So I would say don't lose hope and keep preparing because uh, we'll be we are getting free time right since we are getting this. So what I would say is like keep preparing until you get placed and don't lose hope. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So, any final words to this? Do you want to add anything? Yeah, I just don't. I just don't do school. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's that will be. So, uh, once again, I would like to thank you, Sudeep. You know, spending so much time on my YouTube channel and sharing your experiences, I really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah. So then, yeah. So okay then, bye, Sudeep. Take care. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Bye.